I remember reading that you said Sam Cooke was the only person who you ever wanted to take on vocal characteristics. And what a person to pick. Oh, oh. One story I have to tell you, I was, I was not myself. He was at the Howard Theater in Washington, D.C., which is no longer there, or is, and people don't know what it is, but it's a place where most entertainers went for performance. And me and one of the Ikeets went, and no one else. And we walked in, the place was packed, and he was, he was standing singing, popping his finger, his shirt was open, and remember the Continental suits? And uh, he never put chemicals in his hair, it was just natural, the good haircuts. A pretty, pretty, really pretty black skinned man, teeth and all. And I found myself walking to the stage. I was going on the stage, and the girl was pulling at me. She was going, you know, what are you doing? I was just mesmerized. He, he was so cool, standing there singing, and it was so good, he would laugh every now and then. You know, it was, he was absolutely wonderful. And I did finally meet him in Miami, Florida. We were all at a hotel, and he was swimming, and he came over and sat down and talked to me. And that was very special because I didn't even know that Sam Cooke knew me. Still don't know if he knew me. I just think he was being nice. You know, as some people can see if someone is sad or something. And I was very sad at the time. And he sat down. He made my week. <laughs> it was so great. He said, there's a sad, sexy girl over there. <laughs> <laughs> but the sad thing is, two weeks later, a month later, I heard of his death. Oh, so, really? So I had that moment of seeing him on stage, of him sitting and talking with me, mm. poolside, making me happy, and then he left the planet.